Hey, and welcome back to The Revolution and a brand new WWE 2K22 video. Last week, I had the awesome opportunity to play a build of WWE 2K22, thanks to 2K, which featured 21 female superstars. In this video, I'll be sharing some information on the women I had an opportunity to play with, so beware of spoilers if you don't want anything ruined. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K22 content, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com where you'll find all the latest WWE 2K22 news and more. Unfortunately, we weren't able to capture footage as I said previously, but I did jot down some notes whilst playing, so I thought it was about time to go over them and see if there's anything I may have missed. I will say that this wasn't the final build of the game, so it's possible things like Titan Tron's themes and maybe even little attire tweaks may occur between our build and the final product. It's also worth noting that Sasha Banks throughout the 2K20 campaign had her purple hair, which was altered last minute to make her model more up to date. Also, due to the limited amount of time we had with the game, I didn't get to delve too much into the finishing moves as I wanted to absorb as much of the models and presentation as I possibly could. To reiterate, the 21 playable female superstars I got to play with were Alexa Bliss, Asuka, Bianca Belair, Candice LeRae, Carmella, China, Dakota Kai, Dana Brooke, Io Shirai, Kaylee Ray, Lacey Evans, Mandy Rose, Maurice, Nikki A.S.H., Rhea Ripley, Shayna Baszler, Shotzi, Sonya Deville, Stephanie McMahon, Tamina and Trish Stratus. Starting with Alexa, in the version we played, Alexa had tatty buns as part of her Money in the Bank attire, along with a brand new entrance animation with her Evil is Mine theme and updated Titan Trons. The entrance attire came along with her tearaway skirt, and while she didn't remove it as part of the entrance, it looked cool nonetheless. Over the week, many have asked was Lily part of the entrance, which unfortunately she wasn't. Alexa did, however, look as though she was waving at Lily as part of her entrance, which could be a hint at AR graphics being added down the line. I didn't get to encounter many victory scenes, but I can confirm Alexa's one of the superstars that does have a new victory scene. Next up is Asuka, who we've seen quite a lot of in recent weeks. As confirmed quite some time ago, Asuka is sporting her Royal Rumble 2020 attire, and although I previously mentioned it looks as though Asuka may have a different entrance, it did confirm my suspicions that Asuka this year has the same entrance as seen in 2K19. I was a tad disappointed at first being the huge Asuka fan that I am, but it still fits Asuka down to a T, so it could be worse. Asuka also comes with a green Miss Payback ability, which is pretty cool when using against opponents, even if it often results in a DQ. Like Asuka, we've seen quite a lot of Bianca Belair in recent months, but I would still argue that Belair looks even better in game than the few clips we've seen over time. Unlike Asuka, Bianca does have a new entrance animation this time around, which is far more fluid and fits Bianca's personality like a glove. Next up, we have Cantus LeRae, who is now channeling her inner poison pixie persona, along with her Wicked Enchantment theme, entrance animation, and updated Titan Trons. In game, Candice can be seen wearing a green variation of her attire, which she spotted at NXT's Great American Bash, among other events. Unfortunately, Candice isn't spotting her wings here, but he is hoping we have a pair in the creation suite to apply for ourselves. After Candice, we have Carmella who enters WWE 2K22 with a whole new personality as the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. This time around, Carmella comes with her Tradici theme, red Titan Trons, and a brand new entrance animation from the start of her 2020 return. Carmella enters the arena with her model dancing at the foot of the entrance ramp before making her way to the ring. Unlike the original entrance, Carmella doesn't come with a curtain or silhouette and just performs the movements and dances herself live. As part of the red return attire, Carmella also sports a red furry shoulder padded jacket similar to that of her Royal Rumble 2021 attire. Following on from Carmella, we have the ninth wonder of the world, China, who was showcased earlier this month, who, like Carmella, also has a new entrance and updated Titan Trons. While her entrance may be somewhat similar to 2K20, it's far more fluid this time around and her animation seems more lifelike and less stiff. Like the previous instalment, China can be seen wearing a King of the Ring 1999 attire, which looks much better this time around on a new model. I do wish we could have seen China spot one of her WrestleMania attires, but the fact that she's in the game alone pleases me. Up next, we have Dakota Kai, who also has updated Titan Trons and a new entrance animation, albeit a little out of date. In our version of the game, Dakota had a pre remix version of her combat theme, with Dakota's model seemingly being from her 2020 run. 
As part of her 2020 style, Dakota can be seen wearing an attire from the August 19th, 2020 edition of NXT, which is also the attire shown in her roster rating card. The attire comes with a cap coat half tee, which I can't seem to find with that exact same attire. I will say that for all Dakota is quite outdated, her model does look really good and I'm hopeful that hair colour dye will do good enough job to tide fans over. Like other female superstars, we've seen pieces here and there of Dana Brooke in this year's game, but I will say her face model alone is worth the wait and I personally feel she looks the best she has in a 2K title to date. As mentioned previously, Dana's attire hails from the Royal Rumble 2020 pay-per-view, which would explain why Dana still has the same entrance animation, along with her respectful entrance theme. Next up, we have Io Shirai, who not only has a brand new look this time around, but also a brand new badass entrance and trons. Io now makes her way to the ring in a similar fashion to that seen on NXT, as she head bashes her way to the ring, all whilst wearing the hooded jacket. Eo's attire seems to be from NXT's Great American Bash with a red and yellow bodysuit which looks pretty neat. Speaking of Eo Shirai, we have her Dusty Rhodes Classic tag team partner Kaylee Ray as she makes her WWE 2K debut. As mentioned previously, Kaylee Ray can be seen sporting her Worlds Collide 2020 attire which was revealed in the Hitlist trailer and comes with the NXT UK Women's Championship. When holding the title, Kaylee Ray has her very own custom Women's Championship entrance which will look awesome on any custom superstar. Following Kaylee Ray, we have Lacey Evans, who was showcased several weeks ago alongside Asuka. As seen in the footage at the time, Lacey can be seen wearing her attire from the May 8th edition of Friday Night Smackdown, which comes with Lacey's signature brown leather jacket. Along with an updated look, Lacey has a brand new entrance animation this time around, which fits perfectly with her southern style sass. Unfortunately, Lacey doesn't come with any accessories as part of the entrance, but I still absolutely loved it. Following Lacey Evans, we have the current NXT Women's Champion Mandy Rose, who in our build of the game did indeed hold the NXT Women's Championship. Unfortunately, Mandy didn't have a custom championship entrance or a brand new entrance animation in general for that matter. Mandy also had her gold Titan Trons and Blur effects, which although toned down, are still somewhat outdated. Mandy did, however, have an updated theme with her I've Arrived theme, which goes along with her pink attire, minus the sunglasses, which is from WrestleMania 37. Many fans were worried that Mandy may have her barbers teased in several t-shirts within the game, but thankfully she has her blonde long locks, which could be dyed to make Mandy look more up to date. It is rather interesting that Dana Brooke has a different attire to Mandy, considering the pair were tag team at WrestleMania, but it's cool to see another option for Dana due to that decision. It also means that if players wanted to, they could simply clone Mandy's attire and apply it to Dana within the creation suite. From one blonde bombshell to another, we have Maurice, who unfortunately doesn't really undergo too much of a change this year. The only real change of note I could find was that Maurice has a slight hair change this time around, which has minimal improvement on hair physics. Whilst the hair may be slightly different, it doesn't really improve too much on the hair flip like many fans were hoping for. Up next, we have Nikki SH, who has a complete overhaul this time around, as she ditches her grungy psycho persona for a fresh faced superhero. Due to the huge change in personality, Nikki has new trons, a new entrance, and a new theme, along with being the default women's tag team champion alongside former best friend Rhea Ripley. Nikki can be seen sporting her blue and gold superhero attire, which leaps off the screen thanks to WWE 2K22's new updated lighting, camera, and visual effects. Speaking of Rhea, this time around, Rhea can be seen sporting her SummerSlam 2021 attire as revealed in previous media blasts, along with a more grungy looking model this time around. As part of WWE 2K22, Rhea also has brand new Titan Trons, along with a badass new entrance animation that truly shows off Rhea's personality and mannerisms. Unfortunately, neither Rhea or Nikki have a new championship animation, but considering how bad I see both look, I'll take it for what it is. Like Rhea, we have seen our fair share of Shayna Baszler in recent weeks, who sports her Royal Rumble 2020 attire as previously revealed. In previous videos, we've mentioned that it looks as though Shayna may have two models or attires, but only her Royal Rumble model is available to select in our build. This time around, Shayna not only has updated Titan Trons, but also an updated entrance animation that looks far more fluid and superstar accurate. Shayna can be seen interacting with various props throughout her entrance, including her mouth guard and throwing her towel to the outside. Up next, we have Shotzi Blackheart, who makes her WWE 2K debut with an attire from NXT November 4th, 2020, along with a badass entrance. 
as part of her WWE 2K22 debut, Shotzi enters the ring with her fan favourite ball pit theme. There's not too much I can really say about Shotzi in game, but I did attempt to use a breakout animation while she was still in her tank, which unfortunately didn't work. However, once Shotzi does leave the tank, you can attempt a breakdown and begin a beatdown on the SmackDown superstar. Shotzi also comes with an exclusive howl vocal tone similar to the likes of Ember Moon and Paige in previous versions. Following Shotzi, we have WWE official Sonya Deville who comes with two attires in-game and her square up theme. Sonya's MyGM model can be seen wearing a blue variation of the suit she wears on TV with her wrestling model having an attire from the May 8th 2020 edition of Friday Night Smackdown. While Sonya has a brand new entrance animation this time, she doesn't come with her recently updated Titan Trons and instead has the grey Trons from events such as her match against former best friend Mandy Rose at SummerSlam. Many have questioned if Sonya ties her hair up once the match has started, but I personally didn't experience this. Up next, we have Stephanie McMahon, who, like Maurice, doesn't really undergo too much of a change this year. Stephanie still has the same attire and hairstyle, albeit with a tad more detail. Stephanie also has at least one alternate model, thanks to my GM mode, which I still have yet to experience. Following on from the Billion Dollar Princess, we have one half of the former women's tag team champions, Tamina, who, like Dana, probably looks the best she has in a WWE 2K game today. As someone who is a big Tamina fan, I love the attention to detail this time around as Tamina enters WWE 2K22 with updated trons, her new tattoo, and an attire from her tag team championship run alongside Natalia from last year. While her entrance animation is still the same, new camera angles and cuts make the entrance seem fresh along with Tamina's new look. Up last, and by certainly no means least, we have WWE Hall of Famer Trish Stratus. Like previous women before her, there's not too much of an update to Trish this time around, aside from updated trons and retouches to her hair and attire textures which look much better this time around. It's also worth pointing out that the camera no longer cuts away mid-entrance to the crowd as seen in previous games, which was always a pet peeve of mine. Instead, the new camera cuts and shakes make Trish's entrance seem far more lifelike even if there are no major improvements on the former women's champion. So that's some more updates and information regarding some of the women in WWE 2K22 and like I said at the start of the video, bear in mind 2K may make some small tweaks here and there between the build we played and the final build, so who knows. If not, we have some seriously cool looking women this time around, which I'm sure many of you will be pleased with. It is a shame that we didn't get fresh takes on the likes of Maurice and Trish Stratus, but the fact that we still get to have them in the game after not being part of the active roster really balances it out for me. WWE 2K22 is just a few short weeks away and I can't wait to explore some of my other favourite female superstars including Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks among several others but be sure to let me know in the comments below who you're most looking forward to playing as. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K22 content, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com where you'll find all the latest WWE 2K22 news and so much more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution and I hope you all have an awesome week.